So if you want to turn on, all you have to do is click on this ellipsis. Uh, we have to wait for that to turn on. So you can see that the sync is in progress. Uh, if you click on view simulation, oh yeah, it's it's currently in progress. If you want to turn this policy on, there is an option called turn the policy on that asks you for any sort of confirmation, confirm, and the policy is published successfully. Next, let's go and learn how you can create an insider risk management policy. So on the purview, if you go under settings and all the option under settings, you can see insider risk management. Click on that. Inside the insider risk management settings, scroll down the navigation till you find the policy indicators. And within that, there are many options like office indicators, device indicators, scroll down. You can find risky browser indicators as well. So expand that. So if you want to track risky activities that could expose sensitive information, this is where you will come and turn this on. So I'm going to select select all. And at the bottom, if you want to go through other options, you can see there is a generative AI apps as well. Copilot experience, enterprise AI apps, things like that. Click on save. So that's how we can configure insider risk setting to enable uh, your organization to track any sort of risky browsing activities. Next, let's go and learn how to create an insider risk policy. So go under solutions. Um, here, find insider risk management. Click on that. Here under insider risk management, click on policies. Click on create a new policy. There are two options quick policy or custom policy let's select the custom policy so here there are uh, plenty of templates available let's go ahead and choose one of the templates so what we are after is risky browser usage so on the left hand side uh, scroll down till oh yeah i can see risky browser usage uh, click on that and click next that will populate all the details from the template so if I go back, let's quickly see. You can all already see that the devices are onboarded. That is required. Microsoft Purview extension need to be installed and at least one browsing indicator selected. Uh, so that is all good for us so far. So now click on next. Give a name. So give a name. I'm going to call it sensitive data protection and description to understand what it is. Track and protect against risky browsing activities. Click next. Who do you want to deploy to? I'm going to choose all users and groups. Next. Uh, I don't want to exclude any users. Do you want to prioritize any content? I just don't want to prioritize at the moment. Choose triggering event for the policy. What are the triggering events? This is where we will see the indicators we enabled in the previous task. So we're going to leave all of this open or um, checked. Click next. I'm going to apply to all built-in thresholds. That is the recommended one. Click next. Under indicators, let's select the risky browser indicators preview and let's make sure that all of these are selected. Click next. I'm going to select apply thresholds provided by Microsoft. Click next and submit. All right. So that's how you will go ahead and create a policy for protecting any sort of sensitive data. So now your organization can detect and address any sort of risky browser behaviors that may expose sensitive data. It can take up to 24 hours to successfully run this. So you can see that sensitive data, it's showing us healthy at the moment. Next, let's go and learn uh, how to create an adaptive protection policy. Inside the um, insider risk management, there is an option called adaptive protection. So click on that. What we are going to do is we are going to configure adaptive protection by selecting insider risk level and enabling adaptive protection in insider risk management. So this is going to ensure that our DLP policies dynamically adjust based on user behavior and risk levels. So within this adaptive protection, click on insider risk levels. Under the insider risk level, we have an option to choose the policy. This is what we created just now, sensitive data protection, select that. And I'm going to keep the default option for at the moment condition for insider risk levels, elevated risk level, things like that. Click on save. Now let's go to adaptive protection settings and let's turn this on and click on save. So that's how you can enable adaptive protection in insider risk management. Now let's go and understand more about Microsoft Purview Insider Risk Management.
on the purview portal on the top ribbon on the right hand corner you can see there is a settings option click on that within that click on roles and scopes here you can see under microsoft entra id there are role groups and role scope so i'm going to select role groups on the role groups for microsoft purview solutions we are going to select insider risk management admin so go and find that you can see that over here insider risk management admin click on that click on edit the membership here click on choose users so i'm going to add a user johnny sherman select that user and click next and save and click on done all right so now we have given enough privileges for johnny sherman to do specific task for insider risk management now let's go and configure the prerequisites for policies so let's go to security.microsoft.com so most insider risk management policies have prerequisites that must be configured for policy indicators to generate relevant activity alerts to configure appropriate prerequisite depending on the policies you plan to configure for your organization we have to configure this in the microsoft defender portal so that's why we went into security.microsoft.com so here on the left hand navigation pane scroll down till you find system expand that under that there is uh, something called settings click on that option here click on cloud apps inside that on the left hand navigation scroll down till you find connected apps click on app connectors under connected apps and you can see that m365 is available so click on microsoft 365 and select that and click on connect microsoft 365 and click on done so to add additional supporting files you can go under information protection select microsoft information protection click on automatically scan new files for microsoft information protection sensitivity labels and click on save and within information protection you can select files and make sure you have enabled file monitoring as well so now if you go back to connected apps click on app connectors select microsoft 365 let's quickly go back and select the microsoft 365 and click on edit settings here you can see additional things you can add like microsoft 365 files is already selected so if you if it is not selected you can come in here and select microsoft 365 files click on connect to microsoft 365 click on done um, additionally you can configure the data loss prevention as well so to do that if you go under microsoft purview portal under solutions click on data loss prevention we have already seen an example of data loss prevention let me quickly show you one more example if you go under policies this is where you would be able to create a new dlp policy uh, if you want to use an existing template you can choose that if not click on next give a name for your policy i'm going to call this as a sample policy click next no admin units next where you want to apply the policy will determine where you want to enable it so if you just only want to apply to one drive account select that so last time we selected devices so click next create and customize advanced dlp rules click on create a rule here give a name for the rule i'm gonna call it as i ban we are gonna create a rule for international banking account number and scroll down under condition click on add condition so i'm gonna say that this time content is shared from microsoft 365 because we made that connection and under that there are many options only with the people inside my organization with people outside my organization so i'm going to select with people outside my organization uh, scroll down till you find user notification by default that will be turned off let's find the user notification and turn the user notification on and scroll down till you find the actions and click on add action here we are going to select restrict access to encrypt the content in microsoft 365 locations and block only people outside your organization click on save and your policy is applied or created click next and you can either run it in simulation mode or you can turn it on immediately click on submit 
Next, let's go and learn about how to create an insider risk management policy. So under purview portal, so let's go to purview homepage under solutions, scroll down till you find um, insider risk management, select that. Within that, there is policies and let's go and create an insider risk management policy. Click on create a policy. This time we are going to create a policy for data leaks. For that, you have quick policies templates. I'm going to select data leaks and give a name for the policy. Um, let's call it as data leaks test policy. Click on create a policy. And that is going to be scoped for all users and groups in your organization. But if you want to further customize it, I would encourage you to not use a policy template. Uh, what you can use is uh, instead of that, click on custom policy and you can start from scratch as well. So these are some of the additional things compared to the last one we have learned. Um, I hope the information provided in this was useful. I will see you on the next one. Take care.